take them where you need to be, Mac. Now, Mac, I need you to go out. I need you to finish this motherfucker. Am I two songs left? No, I need you to really finish this motherfucker. What's up, little queens? I need you to turn them down, Mac. I need you to knock them out, Rack, Mac. Now you're down on the point cards, Mac. Only thing that's gonna work is a knock, knock, Mac. Uh, come on. All lyrics pre uh, composed in my head and then recorded in one continuous take, Jay Z style. Yeah, Jay Z does that. He does not write down his lyrics. He actually memorizes them in his head and then goes into the booth and then raps them. And even like when he's rapping, he will think of new ones and he will switch out certain uh, verse, uh, certain lines, verses, etc. So the other one said that they were off of the top. This one says pre-composed. So just for those that maybe don't understand exactly what Jay-Z does as well is he wrote this verse. So this verse was like, it's not he's coming up with it every two bars. He's thinking of the next two bars. He already has it in his head what he's going to say, but he wrote it in his head, which is in itself some form of freestyle because that's how Jay-Z would do it. Like he'd never write anything on a pen and pad or whatever, but he would have his whole verse in his head and he would just hear the beat and just think of it in his head as, as it was going. Whereas some of us will hear the beat and we write our bars down and then either memorize it or record it with the verse. He's doing it in his head. So not to say that it's not a form of freestyle, but this isn't his, his normal off of the top where I'm going off of words and I'm coming up with it literally in the moment. This was kind of something that he came up with before he sat down to do this. This is my understanding of it based on him saying that it's like Jay-Z style because that's how Jay-Z raps. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. So he did this no pin, no pad. This is a little different. This is a little different than what um, Screw actually does this. Like, and he's done this for a long time. But um, the way Jay Z raps is he, you know, he he writes in his head. He goes in, he freestyles a couple bars, and he punches in. He's saying all lyrics are pre-composed in my head and then recorded in one continuous take Jay Z style. Jay Z actually punches in. He freestyles part and then he punches in. But yeah, that's 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 dope. I, I'm 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 expecting this one to be a little bit better lyrically than the other two because it's a lot. I mean, it's way more thought out. It's not completely off the top. Oh, he labeled it a Jay Z style. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Just based off of the production, it feels like like um like early '90s Jay Z. One two one two. Yeah. You know what's going on, man? Hey, turn your volume up. Listen. Uh. Listen. Uh. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, first things first, peace to the people. Tapping in every Friday to peep the amigos. We ain't just do the oh, oh, oh. I like what he did there with the video. Like, I actually thought somebody was going to show up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, he, he, you know, did an homage to his own Omegle uh, bars thing. That's, that's tight. That's tight. Those are the words that he was just rapping right there mm -hmm. on the bottom? Yeah, yeah, yeah he Yo, shout out the video editor again, bro. <laughs> Watch the gorillas and check the behind the bars. The Yo, shout out to the Harry Mac community, bro. Huge shout out to the Harry Mac community, man. He's saying some real shit. Thank you to everybody that tunes in on Fridays to watch the Omegle bars, to watch the gorilla bars, to watch the behind the scenes stuff. Behind the bars, you know what I mean? Yo, I'm loving this, bro. He's showing gratitude right now. They rockin' with me, so went through, though we miles apart. And I've been grinding hard to align my stars, hoping the game holding my name in high regard. I know it's coming. The game hold my name in high regard. Oh my god, grinded the shining stars. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's, there's no way. There's no way he's freestyling this shit, bro. I know he is. I know he is. But there's no fucking way, bro. There's no fucking way. You can't. You can't do this, bro. You can't. Open the game. Look my name. Is you flowing like this, big guy? Huh, big fella? I'm so motherfucking proud of you, man. I feel like an uncle. Nah, I'm a, a, a black uncle. Fuck. <laughs> the game is definitely holding your name, champ. In very high regards. Harry Mack, boy. <laughs> you the shit, my nigga, for real. Did you did you make this beat, Harry? Harry, did you make this beat? Harry, did you make the this beat? Butter pecan. Oh my god. My fried duck frog. Oh my god. Ask when, guess we soon to see. Never signed a label deal. I'm building my community. Cause told you. He don't need a label deal. They gonna try to brainwash him and make some stupid music, bro. This for the streets. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Facts, I love that. Never signed a label deal. I'm building my community because that's the most important thing. You don't need the label, bro. The label out here to try to tell you that they can get you a community.
Build the damn community yourself, you don't need them. I never signed a deal, I'm only building my community. I don't need, need no deal. My, my deal is you. You guys. That's, that's, that's my deal. My deal is built by the community that I've built, that we've built as a, as, as this. This is the community that you've built with Harry Mack. That's That is much better than a deal because it's more personal. A deal's a deal. A deal's made on cash and signatures. This is made on people liking you, people taking the time to watch you every second. Shit, fucking hell, what's, what's going on with me today? Does anybody know why I'm going off like this? It's like the, the first video was lost. The second video was, yo, this is why I'm lost. And, and this video so far has been more more high tempo, more energized, more self belief, more yo. This is what I do. Yo, I felt lost. This is why I felt lost. But this is what I do, and I know I'm good at it. Three parts. It's like a story. It's like a path to why. I am Harry Mack. Cause I've been sick for my whole life with the flow maneuvers. Rap is only sick for a day, like a COVID booster. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Like he, like you can tell his flow is super pockety. Like every single syllable is on is on piggity. What the fuck, man, bro? The flow. What do you say? Rapper's been sick for a whole day, like a COVID booster. Dude is, oh, he's he's so smooth with it. He's so smooth with it. I've been sick my whole life with the flow maneuvers. Rappers only sick for one day, like a COVID booster. Ah, bro, you know, you know, you get like the COVID booster, like the vaccine booster shot, and it and it contains like part of the 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 disease, and it makes you sick for like a day, bro. That was a bar bro y'all pretend y'all think y'all sick y'all only sick now for one day you sick for a day and then you fall off bro i've been sick my whole damn life i've been killing this shit i've been dope forever <laughs> Choking like virgin is lung, smoking hookah. I remember having no money, felt like the broke is losing. To choking like virgin is lung, smoking a hookah. So someone who's never smoked anything before hits that hookah, they're gonna be choking like crazy. Choking like virgin is lung, smoking hookah. Like the first time you smoke hookah, y'all know who she was, shisha hookah. Like in the first time you smoke it, you start choking. Y'all choking, y'all choke artists. Guys, that just that just flowed off of his tongue. In an amazing manner, guys. Like the, like his um, like his cadence and just overall delivery is just fire. He's like he is so consistent with the shit. From the past, flipped it, made it better, like a dope producer, and now everything is going smoother. It's about progression. Yeah, take the past, it like a dope producer, but it's fireball. I took the past, flipped it, and made it better, like a dope producer. That's like the producers that flip the old 80s, 90s uh, samples, bring it up to date, put a rapper on it, put put whoever you want on it, uh, and then that shit gets played and played and played. I took the past, flipped it, and make it better like a dope producer. <sighs> shit, man. Because I was stuck in a deep depression. I made mistakes, had to heed the lessons. It's about progression because I was stuck in a deep depression, but the progression is like it's, it's not always, you don't always have to you know you're not going to reach your goal overnight but you can make progress towards that so it's about progression i can't just watch it all the way through i can't do it man he's going off and his body's <laughs> he's he's feeling that shit man i think that uh it's inspiring i don't have a lot to say i am i'm going through a lot in my own head as he's as he's talking because yeah. we're going through a this is honestly hitting the spot for us <laughs> man like some personal on some personal shit out here you know like so glad we chose this man so if you got plans to stop me keep them hidden like a sneaky weapon stepping and correcting i'll silence you like a pp7 <laughs> the pp7 that's from way back in the day bro like on the 64 when you're playing uh -da -da. what's that dude's name Nah, nah, that's Mission Impossible. <laughs> Man, I don't know, but there's a video game that he got that from PP9. It was a gun that you got in the game. I didn't play video games. I play a lot of video games. Mario. I can't think of the damn game right now. The Super James Bond. No, not James Bond. Yeah, James Bond 007. 
Alright, that's it. 007. My boy played 007 back in the day. Shout out 007. What? He said if you got a plan, keep a secret like a... Uh, 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 some like a loaded weapon? Keep a silence like a PP7? Oh, no! Harry, you done ascended. Uh, rappers beg for mercy, but I show them not. Kill the game with one bar like a golden gun. Kill the game with one bar like a golden gun. Y'all remember in, uh, was it 007 Golden Eye? That game, yeah, where, 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 where could you play it? Was that like Nintendo? No, no, it's not. GameCube? I don't fucking remember. It, it was Golden Eye. I, I played that shit when I, was, when I was a kid, bro. I played it with a friend of mine. He had the console. I played it at his place. It's a first person shooter. You play, you know, 007. And then you could find like the golden gun or something. And, uh, it kills enemies in one bullet. Bro, that shit is cold. Ah, bro, I'm gonna Google that. That shit. I, can I play that again? Think you can match my artistry? Try me. My brain hold a lot of ammo, like a RCP90. I like how he says his brain holds a lot of ammo. Like our brains are the weapon, nothing else. Mm -hmm. uh, my first skills and ability prove if you stall, you get hit. Like first killing the facility level. I take y'all back to the '64 era. Rappers running scared. Everything I spit is raw terror. Uh -huh. now I'm I'll take you back to the 64 era. Ah, he's giving Nintendo 64 <laughs> bars, huh? Man, get your old ass on some new goddamn games, man. I'm gonna bring you back to the 64 era. Like 64 bars. You, you can. Shit, there's no getting past me today. I'm like a goalkeeper. Like a goaltender. Bro, he just did a whole 007 scheme. I'm done. Lock him up. Lock him up. Oh my god, that was so much fire, dude. Now I'm playing. <laughs> they know I'm all about smiles on faces. Keeping my inner child creative. Yeah, and these rappers should be happy that he's all about smiles on faces because he would eat some people's food in some freestyle battles, bro. The crowds and wild amazement. And next year it's going down. We're going to spin miles like Davis. That's a fact. Uh. Miles like Davis, Miles Davis. We're going to go for miles like Davis. <laughs> <laughs> he's snapping on this bitch. Yes, and I like the fact that he okay because he he really does like to go at these rappers. Like he really is like yo, these rappers ain't fucking with me. He says this regularly. He does. He says that specific thing regularly, just in different ways. Uh, but then he like switches it up and says, you know, you know actually, I'm really a nice guy. Like <laughs> when he's in rap mode, he's like, hey, nobody's fucking with me. Like nobody. But when he's you know, when just his like regular Harry. Is a, is, a, is a nice guy. Wow, I, I know the name right now. I yeah. just, just now forgot. Uh, Miles Davis. Though. Yeah, just look it up. Fuck yeah, he's it. a... I don't know. I believe he's so a here for? music... Um, hold on. Okay. Either actor or he's a music... Um, direct. No, no, no. He's an American trumpeter. trumpeter. Miles Davis, yeah. American trumpeter, yeah. Uh, announcement oh. coming soon. Stay tuned. Ooh, wait. He said he has a... An announcement soon, so stay. He, he about to go on tour. I'm calling it. I think it's time these whack rapper phones made wrong for iMac. So, you know, iPhone, like, dropped, like, a phone, like, every year, and he's, like, next year, right? The Steve Jobs of him seeing hard. Step into my shop, I'm about to drop another genius bar. Got him laptop of the year. Got him lap. Wait, wait, what did he say here? What did he say? Hold up, let me put subtitle on. I want to get what he said there. Phones made wrong for iMac. The Steve Jobs yeah. of him seeing yeah. hard. Step into my shop, I'm about to drop another, another genius, genius bar. bar. Got him laptop of the year. See, see, that's what I thought. Because he said laptop, you know, MacBook, laptop, Steve Jobs, iMac, this and that. But he said, got him lapped. Top of the year. They're going to be mad shook. At the, at the top of the year, they're going to be mad shook. And I got them lapped. I'm running laps around these rappers is what he's saying. But he plays on, you know, he puts lapped and then top back to back. So it sounds like he said laptop, which is a play on the Steve Jobs thing. Yeah, they gonna be mad, Shook. Want me for a feature, but the problem is the max fuck. <laughs> lapped top. Lap, running laps off the top with his rhymes. Yeah. But then also got the people like laptop of the uh, of the year. Like, like wow. Like b bars is running off. Laptop, but like, but he's Mac. Like, wow, that guy, MacBook. Like, yeah, but, now it's Max. And um, I forgot what the also he's booked for shows and stuff now. Max oh. booked too. He said, "I'm about to drop another genius bar." Uh -huh. Like, bars is so small, but then lyric genius. Where you go get the lyrics? Yeah, the genius yeah, bar. So yeah. Like, that's that's, that's right. That's where my mind went. Okay, okay, that's fire. They want me for a feature, but the problem is the Max booked. I mean, you can't book him because he's completely booked. Also, at the same time, double entendre. Why? Because he's talking about all Steve Jobs and Max and 
Guys, MacBook, guys, this, this is fire, guys. The problem is the MacBook, MacBook, MacBook. Yo, that whole, that whole Apple Steve Jobs, um, fucking scheme was was yeah, not. They want. I, I just got that they want a feature, but the problem is that the Max booked. <laughs> MacBook, Max book. I thought he said Max book, as in like a rhyme book, but then I caught that you know he said they they want a feature. But the problem is that the Max booked. Shit! Ow! They want me for a feature, but the Max book laptop of the year. Oh, fucking just yeah! They want me for a. <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> Fucking with Mac. Who? 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 Got it. Who? Oh, thought you got away. What? I am the best. My fans are test. I'ma leave you and your man impressed. Looking in the mirror like damn, I'm fresh. I've been doing high level work like a standing desk. Ah, oh, bro. So amazing. This is off the top too. He said, I'm gonna leave your man impressed. He said, I'm gonna leave you and your man impressed. <laughs> I know he said that. But Doing high level work like a standing desk. I got a standing desk when you like elevate and shit with a button. It's dope. High level work. My the the work I'm doing is high level. That's that's the level I'm at. My work is high level. I work hard for this shit. And and I, I reap results. You know what I mean? I do shit. I do things, man. I work my ass off and I get results. Like it's high level, right? I'm a big deal. Like a desk that goes up, a standing desk where you're literally, it's high work. Get it, bro. Uh, that means the flow is uplifting. Rappers claim they got it, I'ma show them what's missing. Look inside my brain and my dome is just visions of us taking over. You don't know, then just listen. Stop drinking IPAs, but still smashing. Cause I'm the infinite poetry assassin. And my instrument properly adjusted. I know the internet probably a custom. This nigga flipped IPA three different ways. I'm the infinite poetry assassin, and my instrument properly, like you said, instrument infinite, you get it? Compound syllable rhyming. Infinite poetry assassin IPAs. Oh my god, it's 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 a it's a beer. I can't think of the name right now. I don't know why. Instrument properly adjusted. Fuck. Them the off top, everything reaction based content. But as long as there's still places I haven't gone yet, I'm gonna stay hungry. Walk with me through the process. Trust me, we gon' blow up soon. That's a bomb threat. Oh my God. Trust me, we gon' blow up soon. That's a bomb threat. Oh my God. I can't take no more. I'm just trying to get through it. I, I can't though, bro. Like, he's keep, he just keep throwing hate makers at me, man. I'm like, I'm. Uh, <laughs> I have no words, man. So this is what happens when he actually pre-composes lyrics. We're going to blow up soon. That's a bomb. <laughs> Jeez, man. He... Oh my god, this is fire. This is so fire. And he's talking about, like, the reactions. Like, you know, he's acknowledging the fact that reactions are, like, a big part of his entire brand i mean omegle is, is reactions uh the gorilla bars is reactions like and then reactors are you know pushing his brand as well and him the same way like this is give and take um and so yeah i like the fact that he acknowledged that that's fine trust me we gonna blow up soon that's a bomb threat oh my god yo this shit this shit is not even fair bro i can legitimately say that harry mac has ruined freestyling for me I mean that shit, bro. When I hear other people try to freestyle, the level has been set. You know what I mean? Like so damn high by Harry Mack that it's hard for me to rock with somebody that people are telling me is dope, but he's not bringing that, that same high level flow, high level delivery, high level bars, high level punches as Harry Mack. It, it's hard for me to just, Listen to it and enjoy it. If that, yo, all right, if you're a Harry Mack fan, you know exactly what I'm talking about, bro. Raw, fresh lyrics keep busting speakers, kicking my own style like custom sneakers. Uh, he killing, 
kill, kick in my own style, like custom sneakers. Kick in, a ki kicks sneakers. That's, that's a, you know, kicks is a, a term, you know, to call sneakers, right? I mean, custom sneakers. I have my own style. If you create custom sneakers, right? They are your style. Get it, bruh. From key rust again to crushing theaters. It's a wild feeling when your fans rush to greet you. Shit is wild, yeah. yeah. Insane flows when you perform. Keep it positive, stay dope and true as form. Even though I maintain hope, I'll do the storm. I ain't trying to claim it's all rainbows and unicorns. He even said it there. He says, like, look, I know where I am now, but I'm not going to say that it's all rainbows. It's not all sunshine. It's not easy getting up to the top it is going to be sad you are going to have tears and he also mentions as well when you get this please stay dope please stay in your true form your positive form please stay who you are don't change just because of the fame that's just summed up this whole ep that's just summed up this whole ep that that line those two lines right there trying. maintain hope through the truest storms i'm not trying to say it's all rainbows and unicorns Every day, every day is not perfect, but I keep going. Shit. Ain't trying to keep it cheery in the race tears, cause honestly my theory is embrace fear. His theory is embrace fear, so you have that, you know what I mean, that insecurity, that fear. He said it earlier, fuck that, jump on it, still do it, still make it happen, cause everything else is gonna fall into place. I'm with it. I like that. My theory is embrace fear. I don't know if anybody ever watched that. That that there's a there's a inspirational video with different Will Smith quotes, and he says something about that, like uh, how fear. I for oh, I forget what he said now, but he he never let fear control him. He was if he was ever scared to do something, he purposely would force himself to go do it. To be like fuck that. Like I'm not letting fear stop me from this. I'm gonna go just do it now. If I feel scared, I'm gonna force myself to just go do it now. And then eventually you start to just get accustomed to overcoming those. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. It's a very interesting concept, but I like that. You know, because the first one was fuck fear, and then now he's coming. It's like he's going through like some form of depression in here but at the end it's like acceptance it's like you know embrace fear you know this is ep at the end he accepts it it comes full circle you know feeling down and shit and then at the end he's more he, he's uplifting himself because he realizes he has to put as he said in the previous one you got to pull yourself from the dirt you got to get this shit going and now he's doing that you know so that's like the, the whole ep scheme embrace fear it's like he came to the re realization it's best to embrace it and accept it the way it is and then use it as fuel or some shit Barely, my team to greatness clearly ain't no fakes here y'all just play right but we serious as shakespeare you just play right in my is shakespeare oh nigga you know what nigga? Ah! you just play writing we is serious as shakespeare but play writing like a play but also you just play with writing you're not really Writing music, you play writing. Oh, bro, where are these bars coming from, bro? Cause I need to know where I duck, nigga. You know what I'm saying? If they coming from the left, you gotta duck this. You know what I'm saying? Where they come? It hit me in the back of the head. I was, I thought I was, I thought I was ready. Cause every time I think, okay, he coming with a Tyson hook. We, you, you play writing. That's what he said. We Shakespeare, huh? Going Hamlet, blood on my hands. I fought my demons to the death for interrupting my plans. Y'all just play writing. Y'all play around. You don't take it serious. But I'm serious. We're serious to Shakespeare. Shakespeare wrote plays. I'm going ham. Let, let blood on my hands. I'm going ham. I'm going crazy. I'm going Hamlet. Hamlet. Shakespeare plays. We're going Hamlet. After saying Shakespeare, Shakespeare, Hamlet's like famous for its soliloquies. <laughs> My first jam was about sweeping dust in the pan. Now I'm sweeping the competition. They can't fuck with me, man. Uh, we was eating Lunchables, man. Drawing Vader and Jabba the Hutt with some crayons. I was dreaming of a bunch of fans up in the stands. I'm just glad haters ain't leave my dreams crushing the sand. You know? He said while we was playing with crayons and shit, I was dreaming of this. When he was playing crayons, so he like talks about how he was a little kid playing crayons, and then he goes back to say that thanks for not smashing my dreams in that play. In the, yeah. In the and earlier in this one, he said, "Let my childhood dreams come true" or something like that. Yeah. He's so impressive. Yeah, really, for real though. 
No, no. I dare say, I've been the GOAT since I was drumming on my high chair tray. Right. I was at a time, parents heard my snare play. Now right. I express myself through rhythm in my rare way. You gotta love cool. me. Yo, I I've been doing this shit since I used to drum on my high chair. Th this is ingrained since birth since since i could hear a sound this has been ingrained in my bones ingrained in my genes i've been the goat since i was drumming on my tray at least i don't want in his high high chair drumming on his on, on the tray that they put his food on and I, harry max a, a, a drummer too right like i you gotta love it, man. Love to the fans that came through the bill with me. Last couple years had us moving so resiliently. What would have happened if he sat down and wrote a song? Um, so at the beginning of this it says that he used no pen or paper because um it muddies it muddies it up, right? So Like what happened though if he found a beat he really liked, sat down and just wrote a song? I don't think, I don't see, that's what I'm saying, is I think that he takes things Or is there too as, much going on here for him to write one down? There. Exactly, <laughs> like it would make things, I don't think that he would be able to produce what he can produce off of his head if he had to write it down, because um, his mind works too fast. Like he would, he would write something down and be like, no, I don't like that, that's what I was just going to be. No, yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, I just thought so it's like a constant, like, yeah, because he's always thinking, you know? Yeah. Like he would never be able to finish writing. Yeah, exactly. I guess, I guess you're right says that my parents since I was in a high chair knew that I was gonna get somewhere when they saw me hit that snare that one time and make that beat but it's the, it's true if you have a passion for something you can have it right from the start or you can develop it and you will get there no matter what don't let the fear stop you don't let the unmotivation stop you because eventually that will pass and you will get to where you need to be the biggest strength is being able to fight those things and still carrying on with what you want to do and that will get you where you want to be am I so ill are you feeling me what? Raw thoughts from the spirit, yo, these are my soul liliquies. Wow. All around, all around. Every bar he said was real, introspective. He just felt everything. It's how it put you like, in his mindset. Yeah. Process. That was like, dope. I like that. Connect with him. And then also now the last song, he gave bars and man, that yeah. was that was dope. That was dope. That Shakespeare, Hamlet. Playwright. Yeah, shit, that was, that was I yo, like that. I like playwriting, but you guys is playwriting. You ain't serious, but you're playwriting like play Shakespeare. Writing. Like what? Oh, they playwriting. Damn, I didn't even get that. Yeah. Oh, you didn't get wow, that. Wow, oh, I didn't. Yeah, I got, yeah. They playwriting. They playwriting. Oh, yeah. Playwright Shakespeare. That's where I, where I was focused on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was nice. That was nice. Damn. Yeah, he's like he playing dope. around da, da, da. the ham one was yeah, fire. Yeah, go Hamlet, go Hamlet, yo. Shakespeare wrote fire. Hamlet. The Hamlet, yeah. But hard as, but hard as a motherfucker. Ham, going ham, going ham. Yeah. Well, goddamn.